Anybody have a few aches and pains? Are you doing? Maybe in the leg, your arm, your back. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. <laughs> kind of comes with the territory as we, as we were younger, huh? God is doing the blessing business. The business is good. As we prepare for an 11 a.m. worship service, it's another day that the Lord has made. And he made a way for us to see it. And I think that's a pretty good God that would do that. And like I always say, just so, because you saw the beginning of it, you don't have to see the end of it, you know? And that's a fact. That's a fact. So you'd be so kind of stand for the call to worship and go ahead and get started. God is waiting to be praised, so let's just do our little part and do that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> sure it is. In the word of God, but the call to worship does say, How admirable are thy tabernacles, O Lord of hosts. My soul longing, yea, even fainteth for the course of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cries out right. for the living God. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. Yeah. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Amen. 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 You may be seated. I'd like to welcome you all. Thank you all for coming out this morning. You'll be blessed for that. Mm -hmm. Now when the hands are our knees. Good morning. Good morning. You know, it's been another day's journey, and I'm glad about it. All right. All right. You know, in the midst of all of the things that we go through, we as children of God know that He is in control. When there are mountains that seem to be in our way, He can remove those uh -huh. in His own time. Well. But what I'm so glad about Him is even when I don't do the things that is pleasing to him, he still blessed me anyway. Okay. So let us tell somebody that the God that we serve is not only a good God, he's a healing God, he's a forgiving, forgiving God, and I know he's always on my side. I'm going to try to sing just a a little bit of a song that we all know that somebody else that is not with us love to sing. All right. So we're going to start it out with, It's been another day's journey, and I'm glad. I'm glad. Same was in the beginning was God. Uh -huh. 
Yes. All things were made by him. Uh-huh. And without him, without anything made that were made. Uh-huh. And him was light. Well. And the light was the light of man. Mm -hmm. And the light shines in the darkness. Well. And the darkness comprehended the darkness. Uh-huh. Well, well. Man. There was a man sent for God whose name was John. Well. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. That all men to him might believe. Mm -hmm. He was not the light. Well. But was sent to bear witness of that light. Yes. I read you St. John the first chapter. One through the seven verse. Uh-huh. May the Lord have a blessing upon the hearing and the reading of his holy divine word. Amen. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning. Shall we pray? Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning. Yes. We come, Father. We bow down here, dear God. Yes. Well, yes. Heavenly Father, we know it was grace yes. that woke us up this morning, dear yes. Master. Yes. Yes. Heavenly Father, we as as breath go through our body, dear God, yes. we're here to praise your holy name yes. Yes. until breath go out. Uh -huh. Oh, dear God, I know that you won't leave us, dear God, nor yeah. forsake yeah. us, dear yeah. Master. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Father, we're living in trying times, yes. dear God. Yeah. Yeah. Heavenly Father, our hearts go out to that infant down in Dallas, a baby, riddled with bullets, well. 5.30 in the morning, dear well. God. Well. Heavenly Father, well. our state of mind is at a low point this morning, dear yes. God. Lord. Heavenly Father, whether you are saved or unsaved, dear uh -huh. Master, oh, Father God, we need revival in our system, dear God. Yes. If we're part of your band, dear God, well. then you're part of us, dear Master. Yes. It's a duty and a respectability to praise your holy name and do the right things according to your doctrine, dear God. Well, Heavenly well. Father, bless those that are here this morning, dear God. Amen. Oh, Father, we don't know the excuses now, dear God. Well. Since they have lifted the mandate on the mass, dear God, where would their praises be? Yeah. Would it be at home or would it come to the house of worship well. like you were told in the divine Scripture, dear God. Yes. Heavenly Father, this morning, Father, stop by the nursing home, dear God. Yes, oh, Father, yes. look over the caretakers, dear God. Yes. Heavenly Father, look down upon the ones that have been put in jail for no righteous way, dear God. Yes. But Heavenly Father, we know you are over the law, dear God. You have justified over the law, dear Master. Oh, yes. Father, this morning, bless those individuals that incarcerated for of sin for a crime that they didn't do, God. Well, well, Heavenly Father, this morning, let all church deals that are open your name, dear God, come to praise your holy name. Yeah, oh, dear God, we need revival in this yeah, land, dear God. Yeah, well, oh, Father, the dead bones need to come alive, dear yeah, God. Well, well, we need to come and serve you in a mighty way. Yeah, if you have been blessed in a way in which no other God have blessed you, then you have a duty to come and serve the God that you have confessed with your mouth. Yeah. Dear God, thank you, Father, thank for you. all the confession yeah. that's done in a righteous manner, dear Master. Yeah. Heavenly Father, thank you for everything. Uh -huh. And dear God, as we go into the service, touch the preacher's heart that he Brian bring a divine message to us and let us be able to go out and be like the Enoch, dear God. Go out in a happy way, yeah. praising your holy name. Yeah. Thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 One more time, one, one more time, time, one more time, one more time, you know that I'm glad to be in your service, one more time, oh, one more time, this one more Mom. 
You guys celebrate a birthday or anything? I would just like to say happy birthday to those of you about to celebrate a birthday. Your birthday celebrate. You and, celebrate a birthday? And being. And being. Yep. And finally turned 90. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to you, Sister B. Yeah, God bless you. She keeps she keeps the paperwork flowing for the church. She's out there every day. Amen. Every day doing a great job on the phone, keeping things going. Amen. Amen. There are things going on. Shout outs continue. Just keep our shout out church family as a whole in your prayer. Amen. Like Deacon said, our pastor and his wife, and Brother Jerome, God bless you. Continue Amen. praying for you and your family. In times like these, in times like these, we need some prayer. I know God is good. You know, like I always say, when you leave home, you ain't guaranteed to get back. I don't believe this time yesterday, I was in Austin, Texas, yeah. swinging the golf club. <laughs> you know, got back about midnight last night. I know. Thank God for just traveling grace, just for getting from one place to the other. Amen. Because you don't have to do it, amen. Amen. This time, Brother Watson, you got us some music up there, you ready to play? Our technician's going to bless us with some good music. I know that. But our hearts. <laughs> Watson. 
gospel tune. You got a particular song that you would like, a gospel song, with a note. You pray for your play for you. So I'll let them have him play When the Gates Swing Open by Otis Clay. That is a tough jam. Y'all, anybody know that one? When the Gates Swing Open by Otis Clay. Google it. Listen to it. This sounds good. Come on, Brother Watson. You can give us something else. We got time here. We got about four minutes. And I'd ask that you do get your tithes and offering and everything ready before the service is over. And follow the usher's direction, please. Amen. 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 Make sure they do that for a reason. So just have your tithes and offering and pass the day ready. More passionate about being fresher than fresh. That's why everything we We don't want no commercials. <laughs> you get enough of those on TV. <laughs> you watch TV. That's how you see more of the commercials. You know? You gonna do something else or no? Just give me the word. You know, I was watching TV one night and we counted. We forgot what we was watching. There's so many commercials. We played 13 commercials. So what was we watching? We forgot so many commercials. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Exactly. Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Get your cable channel. We don't watch TV with no commercials. I think he's going to do another one for us in Reverend James over here. And as I said, keep our passing in prayer. He knows he's got a very capable staff that can carry on. Amen. Yeah. Not the pastor don't have that. But he does. And he's blessed us, Reverend David James, associate minister here, will be coming, preaching what does says the Lord. God has something he wants you to hear today at this particular time and take it with you. Amen. 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 Watch, you got something else you're going to play for us and we have Reverend James come in his own way to elevate our hands and reception of Reverend James.
Now let's give God some praise. Thank you so much, Deacon Watson, our sound and recording technician, officer of our church, and certainly to Mr. Jones, Brother Rome, for the cadence that you keep, praise him for the Lord, and certainly for our hearts and songs to know that we have a God that we should know. Amen. Amen. And my appeal to you is that. If you don't, you have an opportunity to this day and hour to accept him as your personal savior. Amen. Praise be to God. Amen. With all honor and glory unto our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ, we give honor to our pastor in his hour of absence, and certainly to his wife and his entire family, to the offices of our church, and certainly to our church family and the guests that there are many that has come in on this great day of praise and worship. Just so good to see each of you. Praise be to God. To my brother, Minister Chapman, thank you so much. Bless your heart. As you have said, that Pastor has given us an opportunity to support him and to carry on. And we be obedient to those things that we ask to do, but in faithfulness and in studying his word that we be properly prepared, that we right. live it unto the people, God sound truth. Say amen. 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 So we come with great joy and with great excitation to know that God is with us and he will never leave or fail us. Amen. Just a few moments here this morning just to give you a thought of meditation to those that are viewing at home on this virtual recording. Certainly, as it goes out to the radio audience that may be listening in this afternoon, we pray that something be said in the Word of God that will encourage you and strengthen your faith. And most importantly, if you do not know Him as your personal Savior, you do have that opportunity to accept Him thus this day. All right. Let us say amen. amen. If you would turn very quickly in your Bibles that you with you, we trust, or your electronic Bible, however you would turn, I would like to share just a thought with you. In the New Testament, 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, that's in your New Testament church, the fourth chapter, and we have selected The seventh passage of that fourth chapter. That's second Corinthians. That's first Corinthians and second. We're going to go to the second, according to Paul's written letter. Chapter four, the seventh passage of scripture. I'd like you to read the entire chapter and study in God's word. Do that. We have seven through four in our understanding of this message today, along with 2 Timothy chapter 2, 20 and the 22nd passages, which we will also incur that with this study today. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Praise be to God. Bless you. I needed that. I needed that. How good it is to see you. Praise be to God. It's all right, church. So, we have given you 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 7th passage of Scripture. We will draw our text from, and as well as 2 Timothy 2. 20 through the 22nd verses. There is nothing, nothing more important in serving God than sincerity. And all that we do, let us be sincere. For God has chosen us. 
We didn't choose him, he chose us. We being obedient to thus what he has given us. Let us read that seventh passage from chapter 4 of 2 Corinthians. And it reads as thus. Follow along with me. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of who? Yes. Us. Praise be to God. We have this treasure, this light. For God is the light of the world. That light came that men would not be in darkness. He came that men would accept him and believe him, follow him as our personal, as personal savior. From that seventh passage of scripture, I like to use for a meditative subject, divinely packaged for the service of God. We are a vessel. We are a package <coughs> for the service of God. Mm -hmm. For my statement of emphasis, if I may, I would like to draw and weave that into God speaking to each of us. Listen. Creator God, the master designer, he made each of us shaped us into mere vessels to show forth his beauty through us as his divine purpose and for his divine will. Uh -huh. And that was done by the power of God mm -hmm. and not of man. Mm -hmm. Man did not do that, but that is God's divine power. He's sovereign, he's ruler, and he's all creator and maker of all things. All right. Both above and that is which is in beneath. Yes, sir. And to do that in his divine power, for what reason? But to convey, listen, his love and salvation to all mankind for the master's use. All right, man. We were created. Whether you be preacher, teacher, layman, we were created be a vessel and to tell the world that God is on his way back. Right. And he is coming back, church. Yes. He came already, but he's gone, he died, crucified for you and for me, for our sins. Took it on. And he went and rose, and went to heaven to be with his father, to prepare a place for you as well as for me, for those that accept him. Now if you reject him, you don't want him, you won't be there, my friend. Right, Say amen, church. Amen. And I pray with all within me and all that is preached to us and all that is taught to us by the rightly divided word that you accept Christ as your personal Savior. Amen. That's the gospel, my friend. There's no other way. There's no other way into heaven but through Jesus Christ. Amen. You can't sneak in. Amen. You can't buy in. Uh -huh. You can't come around the corner and get in. Uh -huh. You can't come in through a side door. There is no side door. Uh -huh. There's only one way into heaven, and that's through Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Praise be to God. He is the master designer. He made each of us and shaped us into a vessel for his beauty, as I said, for his purpose. God's word should be given unto a world that is dying, that needs to hear the good news. You don't have to go to that place that was prepared for the devil and his angels, but you should be with our Heavenly Father. Amen? Amen. I'd like to use this vessel and this packages in this way very briefly because I just have a few moments here. The next time, listen, the next time you shop for a product, listen to what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. 
Take a moment to evaluate the design and the presentation of the product. In other words, if you go into Safeway, King Supers, uh, Target, uh, wherever you shop, mm -hmm. and when you walk into there, I want you to notice the products that's in there and the packaging and the design of it. What attracted you to buy that? What caused you, what motivated, what stimulated you to that particular product? Now that's brick and mortar, meaning that's the store. But the way the technology is today, we are shopping a lot online. We buy everything. All you need to do is take that cell phone that you have, if it has that app on it, and you can tap on it and you can order up the bills and say, I hope I can pay for this. Yeah. Well. But you find that out when it comes. What's your point, preacher? The point is a packaging. Very quickly, very quickly. And we get back to the meat of the message, to this point. In my days, I was blessed a great number of years back to be with a company called Public Service, which is now Excel Energy. Right. I gave them a great 37 years of service. It started out on the technical side, but after a four years on the technical and service side, I transitioned through schooling and education into the marketing side of the business. Yeah. The church is a business. And it is a business to serve and to be packaged to win souls for the Lord. Mm -hmm. To let everybody know that I'm made in the image of God. Mm -hmm. For the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Mm -hmm. Keep on, preacher, and they that what dwell therein. Mm -hmm. We belong to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Whether we live, we live unto the Lord. Whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Right. Now, whether we live or whether we die, the word says we belong to who? The Lord. Everybody, we belong to God. Yeah. We are that vessels. So here we hear and read that Paul said, God has chosen us as a packaging for his surpassing power. Honestly, he's chose me, us, what a choice. Something that was soiled. Something that was imperfected. All purpose that can be used and discarded and thrown away. Something that is breakable. We're talking about. It draws reference to Paul says, I preach not myself, but the Christ that is within me. I am just a jar of clay. There's a subject matter on that called jars of clay. We are breakable. History taught back during that dispensation in time that that particular period, jars and clays were vessels. And they were good vessels, but were used for special purposes. And there were other vessels that were used for not so maybe good purposes. You have those in your house today. Yes, we do. You got a special pot, a special pan, a special dish. Do you like? Say amen. amen. Do you cook, sisters? Say amen. amen. Do you cook, brothers? Say amen. amen. I hope you do. <laughs> but anyway, to my point is to stay with the subject matter, yeah. the vessel of it. You have a special pot, special pan, and it's a clean, good pot. And there are other vessels and containers that are not so good for other certain things. One of those things is your trash can. Mm. Do you not throw garbage and discard it away into the trash can? Yeah. But let me tell you, you don't throw the can out. But you keep it for other recycling. Amen? Amen. To my point, what I'm trying to establish here is this. We are vessels. And we are sometimes contaminated. And sin will contaminate you. 
Believe you me, you can look as beautiful as you are, and you are beautiful. Because as I said in my introduction, we are made in the image of God. And God don't make no junk. We are no junk. But let me tell you, that vessel that holds us, that Holy Spirit when you accept Him, that come into your heart, that come into your soul, let me tell you, church, we sometimes struggle with that. Like Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty, children's parable, children's story. What did he do? He sat on the wall. And what happened to him? He had a great fall. We fall sometimes, church. We fall sometimes. He was broken in pieces. And do you want to know something? All the king's horses and all the king's men, they could not put Humpty Dumpty back together. But I'm here to tell you, you can fall and be broken in pieces, but we got a maker that says, I'm the potter and you are the clay. I can put you back together, my friend. Yes, yes, yes. We can fall and be broken in many pieces. Yes, sir. But when we go to God on our knees and say, Lord, I'm a vessel. I've been had some nasty stuff to go in me, like the trash can. Well, well, well. But he says, I'm able to clean you and I'm able to bring you out, my friend. Yes, sir. I'm able to let you know you are my vessel. All right, well, well. If you preach my word, preach it right. Yes, sir. And if you teach my word, teach it right. And when you witness my word, live it right. Some people said the best sermon I ever seen and heard was watching you how you live and walk for the Lord. That's right. We are the vessel of the Lord. I don't have much time. There's a lot in this, but I'm here to tell you, God wants us to know. Yeah. We are divinely packaged for the service of God. All right. We ought to look unto him and to not faint. Why pick something like me? Why not pick something that was royal and trimmed in a vase, in a vase, correct, in a vase of silver and pewter? Something that's pretty and gold. Well, Lord, why come you can't use something like that? Why didn't you get something to gather up something like that, first of all? The Lord says, I come to seek and to save that which is lost. Mm -hmm. To those that are nasty and filthy and say that you don't want me, and the Lord says, I do want you. Because I'm able to clean you up. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm able to make you a vessel that shines and put something in you, which is my Holy Spirit, if you accept me. And I guarantee you, you will be more than gold, my friend. Yes, yes, Paul had in his mind to be viewed as a humble servant, well, mm -hmm. lowly, common, expendable, and replaceable. Mm -hmm. We didn't come here to stay. Yeah. But while we are yet here, let us be a divinely honest and holy and pure package for the Lord. Yeah, right. Second Timothy 2 and 19b said, the Lord knows them who are his. He knows each of us. He knows your children, yes. my children. He knows how we perform as vessels in our homes and as vessels for the world. He knows that. Paul's point in the letter to the Christians at Corinth was the contrast between packaging, which is us, and the product, which is him who God, and how they are viewed together. We are not here to build up myself. Mm. Paul says, I preach not myself, but the Christ that is within me. Right. So others may know that Jesus Christ came, died for you and for me. All right. He's able to straighten us up and to keep him. This is the efficacy of the power and by God only and not us. By using frail and expendable people like us use us as a part of clay. Or we have a part. We may be the vessel. There may be a lot of things that goes on in our lives. 
And I want you to know something, 2 Timothy 2 and 20. You can turn to that very quickly. I'm going to use how I bring this thought. I got about three to four minutes. And he brings this in 2 Timothy 2. 2 Timothy 2 and 20. But to draw the right continuity in the interpretation, let me back up to the 19th verse of that 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of God stands sure. God stands sure. Having this seal, the Lord knows them who are what? His. I said that. Listen, listen. The seal guarantees the security of the church and the purity of the church. The two together are the purity of the church and is indispensable to his security. That which the Lord has sealed and kept, I guarantee you, is kept and it's sealed pure. In our position, the Lord's position in us, we cannot fall. He's there with us. Right. But in our practice in that vessel, we can be cracked and broken, my yes. friend. Yes, That's the point I'm establishing. And let us, everyone names the name of Christ, not depart or depart from impurity, depart from sin. Don't do those things that will contaminate the vessel. Be upright. As I said in my house, look at what the 20th passage said to bring the continuity together. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 20. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and what? Of earth. Those that for special purposes that they use for. Those that for earth, the things that went into it that was voided out. Some was to honor. When you cook that beautiful dish, sisters, you cook that beautiful dish for your family and your friends, your loved ones, they come in and they sit down, they say, ooh, child, as we hear them all say, you put your foot in that one. <laughs> you really laid that dish, you really laid that meal out. And you laid it out in a beautiful dish. Let me tell you, when God made us, he created us. Man failed, but he created us beautifully well. and perfectly until we got the big head yeah. and decided we didn't want to obey. All right. That's when the vessel gets messed up, my yeah. friend, and how it did get messed up. But the Lord says, I could have thrown it away. I could have threw you away. But because I created you and I made you, I made you for a reason and a purpose. Not only that and that did, I gave my son for you. Back in Genesis 3.15 it said, right in the seed of a woman, that I gave life unto you, that you, that I was coming to let you know, to take away that disobedience that you showed to me back there. And I came in that, to take away the sin that served, that was coming, Jesus Christ our Savior. Listen to what the 21st pastor say in that 2 Timothy. If a man therefore what? Purge himself from thee. Uh -huh. He shall be a vessel unto what? Honor. Purge myself of what, preacher? Lying. Cheating. Disobedience. Immorality. Cussing and fussing. <laughs> Trying to look cute, but ugly as you want to be. Yeah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, All right. I'm talking about the package vessel that we are to God. Let it be honorable. Yes, sir. Let it be and give glory and reverence to Him in purity and holiness. When we do fall, don't bother. Get up on your feet. Yeah, yeah. Repent of your sin. Yeah. And say, Lord, I've fallen. I made a mistake. Uh -huh. yes, sir. But 
He's able to keep you. He's able to forgive you. Do you forgive others? If you can't, Lord have mercy. How do you expect him to look and forgive you? Closing point. He shall be a vessel of honor, sanctified, set apart, and meet. And I said this in my introduction. For what use? For the master's use. And prepare unto every good work. Closing point right here. God loves us. And if you get nothing else that I've heard said today, he wants you to know you are beautiful vessels. And whatever goes in, let me tell you, he's able to purge out. And you can purge it out. Accept him as your personal savior. Ask and repent for forgiveness. Be a great, great, great example for the Lord. He is our pattern. He is our love. He is our salvation. He came and he died for you and for me. On Calvary. It was all about him. It's not about you. It's about Christ. Yes, it is. That's about who it is. We're living in times. Ooh, it's rough right now. It's going to get worse. Amen. But we have hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. Our faith is in Him. Time is winding up, my friend. Yes, sir. Ugliness is coming. Death all around us. Yes, People hating each other. Yes. Killing one another. Yes. Not only with weapons, but killing with the word. Taking a man's character down. Yes. Taking a woman's character down. Murdering each other. Yeah, yeah. Be the right vessel for the Lord. Yes, sir. And in that, He will give us the great reward that He's prepared for us. May the Lord bless you. And may He keep you as my prayer. Would you please stand as we open the doors of the church? For we extend that invitation right down to you. If you don't know him and you say, Lord, I'm, I, wanna, I want my pot, that clay that you made me, I want to come right. forth. You can come right now. Amen. He's able to clean you up. He's able to save you. The doors of the church are now open. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus.
God on why. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Yes, sir. All of the sins. Praise the Lord. I just wanted to come back to church. Yes. It's been about two months since I've been here. And I was going to come back today. And Sister Jones, she wanted to come. So we decided that we would come back next Sunday. But something got on my mind. And I just, after I fixed breakfast, <laughs> I thought I would just come on out and sit in the balcony. But I came down in a great mess. And I just want to thank you all. You're doing a great job in keeping the ministry going. That's the way the church is supposed to be. We are supposed to be together united on what we are going to do. So may the Lord bless you and may he keep you as my prayer. Now they wanted me to come up, but if I would come up, I might be a little mystic. <laughs> so, right. so I better not. I'll wait until next Sunday. Bless you. Thank you. Amen. 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 